Hello everyone, I am Daryl E. McCullough and I want to thank you for joining me once again for another video on African art. This time on the Sanufo Spitfire mask from the Ivory Coast. Um, when I first saw this mask, and it was probably 30 years ago, um, I saw it and I thought it was very interesting. I also thought, man, this mask is huge. It's got a lot going on. Uh, it's actually one of the largest masks that I have in my collection. But um, let's take a closer look at this mask and see what it's really all about. Now the colors on this mask just radiate. The teeth and the horns, uh, it's, it's just noticeable the details with several animals including a buffalo, warthog, crocodile, and an antelope. Now this mask is accented with raffia, making it appear like the mane of a lion. I've also heard that this, the, the uh, muzzle, the hollow muzzle uh, for this mask, it allows for storage of substances that allow the dancer to simulate fire breathing. You know, it's an interesting story about this mask. I have this friend, we've been friends for a very long time, and I would go to his house and he has antiques, African art accents, a uh, beautiful home, very classy. And to tell you the truth, back then when I was new, young and fresh, I wanted to be, I wanted my home to be just like his. And he and I laugh to this day, he says that I've tripled uh, uh, you know, his collection of antiques and African art. But hey, what I want to say to my friend, you're watching this channel, uh, you're watching this video, let me get that bag of snake and that uh, Bali statue that you have that's about four or five feet tall, and I can feature it on my channel. Take it out of storage. Let your buddy uh, bring it in his collection. So anyway, let's get back to this mask. Many of the Sanufo masks that I've seen, they're not painted. I believe uh, that the ornate style alone is brilliant enough, as it speaks volumes, that it doesn't require this piece to be painted. Now, many of you who saw my uh, most recent video in which I went to my very first uh, estate sale in Detroit, Michigan, and I purchased a five foot tall, beautiful Sanufo hornbill. Um, it was painted. And those of you who saw that video know that I stripped it. Uh, I wanted to bring it back to the original form. I'm not a big fan of painted wood. However, with this mask uh, for over, you know, the 30 years that I've had it, I opted to not strip it, but to keep it in its an original and its uh painted form. Um, so, um, you know, I, it's, it's very, it's a conversation piece and, uh, it's large, but I figured, you know, just keep it as is. So I'm very happy with it. And I hope that you enjoy this video. So, uh, I want to say to a few people, uh, I've got some new subscribers to the channel. I want to thank you for that. And um, I hope that this video was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, take care, be safe.